What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this one I want to highlight the now three-time Steeler Club Champion Deliverance and how he was able to take home the three-peat for the Pittsburgh Steelers Club Championship. Ever since he burst on the scene a couple years ago, uh, and he actually I think he made it to the final four of that club championship event that year, he's been uh, pretty much the same type of player. He plays really good defense, controls the ball on offense, pretty smart, and um, you know this year he switched to more of a run-focused offense like a lot of people. I uh, used to run a lot of that trips tight end offset this year, a lot more under center, but still playing very good defense. I think this might be the best he's looked like in the club stage uh, in his three years of winning the club. So I think that says a lot. And he played two good opponents this year. He played lockdown in the semis and Joel in the finals. And so this play is going to be from lockdown that I want to go over. Uh, fourth and six, you can see lockdown with the ball down for a minute 27 left on the clock. So biggest play of the game to this point. And you see Deliverance in a nickel 335 odd look. So a couple things here. Uh, Deliverance showed several different defensive looks throughout these two games. Uh, he showed the 335 odd. He showed some 146. He showed some traditional four down lineman sets. So definitely a versatile defensive player, uh, willing to give his opponent multiple looks, which can definitely be frustrating uh, because a lot of people just kind of stick in one formation. So that's something new that he kind of brings to the table. Uh, another thing is how he was setting up this defense throughout the game. And so what he was doing was every single time Shazier was looping uh, from the linebacker position. So that linebacker behind the DT was looping in. And then usually what he would do is he would man up the slot cornerback on the slot receiver. And so he would flip him from left to right. Right here he's on the left above Smith. Uh, and he would buzz out the right of screen linebacker. So that left outside linebacker. He would shoot him out into the flat. He would control Palomalu and then he would do whatever uh, with the other left of screen linebacker. And then he would have usually a three deep shell. And so it was pretty much always a four or five man rush with a three deep shell. And uh, Lockdown was running this, you know, Carolina Panthers, Lamar Jackson, QB draw centric offense, running the ball a lot. Um, but when he did have to pass, this was kind of the look he was coming to. And a side note, Deliverance actually held Lockdown to 12 yards passing this game. So, you know, Lockdown was definitely a run oriented player, but run oriented or not holding someone to 12 yards of passing at this level of Madden is incredibly impressive so uh, that's just another nod to how well deliverance was playing on defense this game and so uh, something I want to highlight was the adjustments he made on this play and so uh, the first big thing was not rushing Shazier so for the first time all game he went with a three-man pass rush on this play and manned up Shazier on the halfback in the right slot Clinton Portis and so something uh, important here if we take a look at uh, this is my scouting report I have in deliverance so this is kind of some of the more offensive based stuff so you can see how many times he calls each play yards he gains so he, he's averaging almost 23 yards of play on single back wing flex uh, single back wing flex close half pack dive and then uh, you can see how often he calls each play on which down uh, his rushing stats passing stats how often he targets what personnel uh, when he targets that personnel so cool thing uh, he targets his receivers the most even though he's pretty balanced all around uh, but on third down he never targeted his receivers so he targeted his halfbacks and tight ends twice each on third down uh, so that's a pretty cool tendency some other offensive oriented stats uh, we have some route breakdowns where how successful he is throwing what route when he throws them how often he throws them stuff like that but what I really want to focus on right here is his defensive play sheet from uh, the game against lockdown and so the highlighted rows are all fourth down attempts so you can see fourth down here he got a pick uh, deliverance or lockdown rather tried to throw a post route and deliverance rush four guys and so right here uh, lockdown ended up running the ball deliverance rushed five so this was a scramble um, and then right here lockdown just ended up running the ball got 20 yards got the first down so those were the previous fourth downs in the game but what's really important are the defenders blitz. And so you can see every single time lockdown dropped back to pass, a deliverance was rushing either four or five players. The one play all game where he rushed three was on this play. So the biggest play of the game, a deliverance went to something that he hadn't done all game and he only rushed three. And so that circles back to him dropping Shazier into coverage. And so what he ended up doing here was he manned up the left slot on the left slot receiver like he had been doing. He manned up uh, the left of screen outside linebacker to the far left receiver. So he had double man coverage on the left. He manned up Shazier on the right slot, Clinton Portis. 
And then he went with a spy with the right of screen outside linebacker. So the guy he had been shooting out into the flat, he went with the spy uh, probably to prevent an easy first down from lockdown because that's the easiest thing lockdown can do, right? He's got the, the juiced up Lamar Jackson. The last thing you want to do is just give up an easy escape artist scramble and uh, not make lockdown make a read. So he went with the spy, three-man rush, and he was using Palomalu. So this left the right side of the field completely wide open because it looked like he still had that three deep shell intact. And so this is a big risk. You know, it's kind of counterintuitive leaving an entire spot of the field wide open on fourth and six. But knowing up to this point, lockdown had not targeted that part of the field when he was in this look. Taking that risk is really what won him the game here. And so what you're going to see is it looks like no one's covering the right side of the field at the snap of the ball because Shazier kind of gets lost in the shuffle a little bit because he's in the middle and he's been blitzing every single play. And then as soon as Lockdown doesn't see that outside linebacker buzzing out to the flat and going to the middle on the spy, it looks like at first glance that right side of the field is wide open. But this is a just great adjustments here uh, from Deliverance. As you roll the play a little bit, you can see Shazier drops back. And so the other thing that Shazier shooting out does is it almost looks like if you're not completely staring at him and noticing that he's turning and running, if you're just kind of trying to make reads and looking at defenders with your peripherals, it looks like he could be shooting out to the flat. And so that's the other thing is not only did he do something that he hadn't done all game deliverance and manning up Shazier, but it also looks like he could be covering a different part of the field than what he actually is. And so as he drops back here, lockdown goes ahead. He's throwing the ball. And you can see Lockdown's face. As soon as he lets go of this football, uh, he knows it's it's a mistake. So if we go ahead and throw it, you can see he already recoils back. The ball's barely out of Lamar's hands, and he knows he got him. So great adjustment from Deliverance. You know, the first time all game, he manned up the looper on that right of screen slot receiver and, uh, you know, caught Lockdown looking and uh, kind of tunneled on that route, it seemed, and made the biggest stop of the game right there. That ended up winning them the game. Uh, I think Lockdown got the ball back deep in his own territory with a little time left, and Deliverance was able to close it out 14-10. to 10. But big play, big adjustments, and that's what Deliverance brings to the table. So excited to see him play some more in the club championship uh, round of 32 when that gets started. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, take it easy.